on the King K rule. The blue one, obviously. Yeah. It's in the name. All right, so game number one on Battlefield here. I feel like the stage is, like, really good for Falcon. But, on, oh, very good. I think historically, too, like, for Falcon, this stage has always been really good for the platforms when he gets juggle combos. But also for Kero, it's always also important to know if Bluco does have any of the setups that Kero would have on the platform, such as going for Blunderbuss and then using that ability to take it down to the ledge. Sorry, yeah, the ledge. Yeah, that's so tricky that he can, like, drop through that. But platform combo from Roots, he's getting all these hits, but just not the correct ones. He got the weak hit yeah. knee. Then he still comboed it into Nero, but only got the first hit, so it didn't kill. But Bluco putting up a really good fight here, keeping the percent rather even. Foot forward air puts him off the stage here. This is Bluco's opportunity, but unfortunately getting hit by the down air. That's the one thing about the Blunder Bust. It's a pretty, I wouldn't say it's one of the worst projectiles. I would say it's decent at what it does, especially what you want to set it up to. But the fact that Falcon just has raw frame data and speed over you, it does not make it easier. And that will allow Roots to understand, you know what, Bluco wanted to go for a low recovery. Fine, I'll be there to make it back up as well. Yeah, and that was just so committal from Roots because if he missed that, he was dead. He wasn't yeah, making yeah, it back. most definitely. Run. He did double jump like way down there, stall out the time, and waited for Bluco to finally commit to the uppy and was able to find it, but Bluco able to answer back rather quickly. Oh, I like the fact that he got the grab and went for the back air, but unfortunately, you kind of have to still respect the fact that the crown is very much like Link's boomerang. Yeah. And King K. Roll can get quite a few combos off there into like the Nair or the up air. Ooh. But up air indeed from Roots confirms into the knee, and that's going to be a stock huge lead for Roots now. Yeah, down throw, another neutral air, and that's kind of one of the, been the combo starter for Roots. He'll either go for the first hit of Nair and then go for an up air, or he Ooh. might go for a confirm. But unfortunately, Bluco went a little too low, and he got lost in Roots sauce. I think what he was trying to do was like. He saw Roots run off stage. You want to try and like double jump fair him into the stage, try and stage break him or something, but he never returned to ledge. Roots actually intercepted him with the up B, yeah. so he didn't get his jump back. Ah, uh, okay. So he just kind of did fair and fell afterwards. <laughs> Unfortunate situation, but it started yeah. off really solid for Bluco. He just yeah. kind of slipped away from him. Honestly, it can definitely happen to you in the game of pressure against Falcon on a yeah. stage that's really good for him. You do feel it when especially when getting comboed as a heavyweight, where you happen to be in that combo percent most of the time. Yeah, I feel like that's just kind of Falcon is like, oh, we're going even, we're going, oh, he hit me once. Yeah, or he grabbed me once. He and grabbed me, he, he caught my jump, and I died, and then like, yeah, now you just got a huge deficit, and you have to run yeah. into Falcon at that point. Double jumping against Falcon is a sin. And, like, the thing is, against Falcon, you want to, like, try and whip punish him, make him overcommit to things. Yeah. But, like, when you're behind and you have to attack Falcon, he d gets so much off of whip punishing and yeah, shield he grabs does. and things. It it's kind of like you kind of have to out-whiff the whip punisher for that purpose. He still has the recovery, though, but he's got to watch out. Yeah, and I like that right there. I felt like Rude's overcommitted just a little bit, but then he was still able to make it back, so prove me wrong, I suppose. Just pushing Falcon to the very limit of his recovery there. Yeah. Crown combos? Oh no, unfortunately hit the belly, and the belly does have armor. It is very much percent based, so at a point it will crack. Roots are gonna I go for that I believe it's a max of three hits in general. Though. Right? Okay. Uh, but there are some moves that can basically count for two or three hits at the same time. Yeah, I know it's like about a certain percent where the threshold will just, it'll just break it and it'll amount yeah. to the same as a shield break. Yeah, and Luca really pressing his luck here. He still has the cracks in his armor. Yep. Gonna go for that low up air once again. I mean, that's kind of one of those things you kind of have to understand, too, against K-Roll. What's the recovery plan for him, especially having to go for that up B so low most of the time? For Roots to understand, like, okay, I have to commit to this option. It'll take care of the stock. And understand, I was almost close to a down air. Yeah, and the thing is, like, that's the, probably the best edge guard Roots could go for. And speaking of best he can do, that was a great combo. But as I was saying, when K-Roll up Bs, mm -hmm. you can't challenge him from above. No, you cannot. But you can definitely challenge him from the sides, and that's why Falcon's up B is so good for it. Nice, good use of down tilt. Spaced it just enough to put him up to the other side of the corner. How did that hit? Cable's body is too big. But yeah, Cable's body is probably too big. Also, like for Falcon, like down tilt's got some range to it too. You kind of have to respect that. Once again, the same opportunity, like you said, right? You can't intercept it from above or from the sides, so where it's going to count the most. And that's something that Roots very uh, well, well, well understands. All right, goes for the side beat, but that's going to be a grab as a punish. Is there going to be any sort of combo follow-up with the up throw? No. Instead, 
Luko kind of getting trapped on these platforms now as Roots maneuvers in and out of his range. Yeah. He's doing an excellent job of making sure, like, okay, if I'm getting in, I'm getting in quick with the first option, get out, and then come back in with another first option and put you right to the, to the corners. Another Nair. He's got him low. Another special. He goes for it, but I like the fact that he kind of angled it up because, he, like you said, right, you can't get it from the buff, and the buff has the hitbox, bringing Roots back up to the stage. I And now Roots really just looking for this Nair one combo. Yeah. But is that going to be no. it? No, he actually drifts back. Doesn't want to commit to try and find it, but dare into the turnaround knee. Oh, there we are. There And now we are. But I was like, hold on. Yeah, I was like, that, that, that match ended so fast, dude. We just cut back to us. <laughs> Excuse me. 